Yo, what's up everybody? So, today we got a special video for you. So, um, I've been asked a lot, like, oh, shh, my freaking pencil! Ah! Alright, sorry about that. Alright, um, I've been asked a lot about, um, how to, um, how to, uh, how to draw, um, uh, anatomy. But, um, it's like, it's like, it's, I can, why are you, why are you clapping like that? What's wrong with me? Anyway, um, so, I mean, like, I can teach it, kinda, you know, I got the general gist of it, you know, people think I'm like a master at it, like, they think I'm like a super duper god at anime, I'm like, I mean, I'm not anime, I'm anatomy, I said anime, anatomy, I'm like, bro, I'm still learning myself, like, I barely know anything, but, I mean, I'll show you what, well, I'll show you what I know, you know what I'm saying, I'll show you what I know, I'm not saying it's gonna be right, I'm just saying it's gonna be what I know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show you AJ's anatomy course, welcome. Welcome everybody. Um, lesson one, we're gonna start from the basics. The basics, oh my camera is so unfocused. The basic stuff you need to learn how to draw is of course, um, uh, oh, shapes. Yeah, you need to learn how to draw shapes. And what what are shapes, huh? What are shapes? You don't know what shapes are? I'm about to show you right here on the side of the page. I don't wanna, I'm, I'm gonna, I gotta use my, my resources. Um, okay, here we go, let me, uh, let me line that up. All right, focus. See, this is why I never do like, like 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 live action um camera i like to do speed up drawings because my camera keeps on doing that anyway um right so what you want to learn how to draw are a couple of shapes right my most favorite shape in the whole entire web <clears throat> is the three-dimensional cube slash box slash three-dimensional square whatever you want to call it basically how you draw that I'm gonna draw right here on the side, look at the corner of the screen, is like this, all right? Now, I've gone over this so many times, people think I'm joking when I say boxes is, is the secret. That pe People think I'm joking, like, bruh, Kim Jong-ji, um, Jim Lee, um, all the artists that are freaking phenomenal use shapes, and even though you don't, like, most of the time they don't draw the shapes because you don't see them do it, doesn't mean they don't do it. They do it, bro. Trust me. They know their their, their um, perspective. They know their three-dimensionality. They know how to draw boxes and whatnot and spheres and cylinders. I'm telling you, if you learn how to draw this easy, basic, simple shape, you will already level up. You See, right now, you think you're level one. If you learn how to draw this, you'll be level two to like in, in one day. Like if you just practice a bunch of boxes in one day, you'll be level two already. And then as you get more advanced, you can move up. Like it's crazy how easy this is. All right. Let me just do a little bit of shading just to make it look more professional. Um, I'm using a pen right now, my little custom pen. I did a little DIY on my Instagram. Basically, I got two pen. I got one pen. I took out the bottom. I got another color pen, and I stuck it at the bottom. So this is a red pen, and I got a black pen right here. Use some tape to keep them here, and blah, 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 yada, yada. Now that means I don't got to keep on switching pens if I'm using different colors, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a freaking genius. All right. So, uh, yeah, you got the, the boxes, you know what I'm saying? And this is all you need to learn how to draw is some basic boxes and shapes all right that's the one that's number one shape all right this is all right the one shape that, that will save your life all right all right cool next shape that will save your life <coughs> is that shape you know what the shape is called come on come on think about it come on what's the shape called Dude, what's the shape called? It's a sphere, all right? Not a circle. Now, you probably you probably said circle, right? Ah, I got you. It's not a circle. It's a sphere, all right? There's a difference. A sphere is three-dimensional. A circle is flat, all right? And the one thing that people struggle with in drawing is flat. I still struggle, struggle with, with, with flat drawing. Sometimes my drawings look hella flat. But, um... By all means, if you learn how to draw this in three dimensions, which is what I'm going to show you right now, all you got to do is this, all right? You see how the how the ball curves, right? What you can do is to make it easier for yourself is to start it with a little point, all right? A little point right there, right? You don't got to do this, but it's, it's a way to help you just in case you're not used to drawing. And my favorite things to do when you're drawing shapes is using contour lines, all right? So a sphere rounded like a ball, right? Which means you want to draw the, the contour lines going around that. 
all right it's gonna go like that they're gonna get a little bit straighter they're gonna curve out from each other away from each other all right kind of like the um what do they call the the um what's that stuff the thing around the earth called the uh the little lines i know what they're called i'm not dumb I, I'm, I'm educated don't worry i'll figure it out later but um these lines really do help all right they help you see the sphere in the dimensional shape and of course a little bit of um shading won't do won't will, will do you some good you know what i'm saying just a little bit of shading um of course shading is terrible in pen if you don't know if you're not i'm not even, I, i'm using pen because it's, it comes up on the screen if i use pencil it will just be too light so i've been trying to learn how to draw in pen but like i said a sphere is three-dimensional a circle is flat boom all right good next shape you need to learn how to draw is a cylinder all right a cylinder what is that it's basically if you take a circle and you stretch it all right and you make a little tube all right think of a straw think of um a, a, a log think of anything that's round and tall all right a pole whatever you can think of that has this shape all right that is what a cylinder is called all right and people ugh, if you're really serious about art if you really want to learn how to draw humans the body you gotta learn how to draw these three shapes it's only three shapes come on three shapes and you can be a master all right i'm not a master right but people think i'm amazing with my anatomy i'm like eh, i'm all right but that's because i know how to draw these shapes and that's all i'm saying is if you learn how to draw these shapes you'll be good all right take it seriously all right you can do it if i can do it you can do it all right good the camera looks gritty i wish i had a better phone man don't worry i'm gonna I'm a upgrade but um right now i might use this android phone you know what i'm saying i'm using what i got for now but right this is the cylinder three shapes and we can make like super duper dynamic poses right how let's just show you right now all right so we got our three shapes i'm gonna keep them right here so that you can see okay let's get into the human drawing so what can we use these shapes for all right easy question to answer you can use them to make perspective poses you can use them to make uh, dynamic poses you can keep make them uh, use them to make structure you can make sure that the anatomy is correct now the best way to do this if you not know if you don't know where to start is to find some pictures right find some pictures magazines will do if you don't have any digital thing but if you have digital software download some pictures of, of humans just type in type in humans all right type in human body um preferably nude but if you're not if if, if you're not if you're not i don't know if you can't look at that i guess and then just type in clothed figures which is you know, i guess that works but then draw the um the, the the shapes you can see inside of them so the first shape we're going to start with is number one box all right box comes down and the box is going to be um I'm, we'll, we'll put him right here all right we're gonna, we're gonna put the guy right here all right i'm gonna use my pen all right box is gonna be right here right now he looks two-dimensional i mean i'm two i'm 2d right flat he looks flat right now because we're looking at him straight on all right the only time when you see a shape from uh, uh the only time you see the three-dimensional shape is when the body is turned in any other way but when we're doing a straight on pose you can use 2d shapes this is the only time you're allowed to use 2d shapes is when you're drawing a straight on pose right but if you're drawing some um, perspective or any other dynamic poses that have twisting and turns you better learn you better learn the 3d you better learn the 3d you better learn the 3d okay we got the box right and then we're going to get um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh draw a little uh actually no 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 what we're gonna do first is since we're talking okay, no 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 start i'm sorry i'm going on we're starting from the basics this is the basic the most basic way we're gonna move up later on throughout the videos as we get better and better um so right now since we're at level one we're gonna do it like this there is a better way to do it but right now level one this all right draw a little sphere a li the reason we'll see we got number one and number four and uh, number uh uh Four, wait, hold up. Am I a dumbass? I put one, three, four. <sighs> it was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. I've been talking for like nine minutes and I didn't even realize I did that. See, when I'm excited, I rush and then dumb mistakes like this happen. 
This is supposed to be a two, and this is supposed to be a three. I put okay. We, 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 we. <sighs> okay, forget that ever happened. All right, we got number one for the rib cage, and we got number five. I mean, number. See, look, and we got number three. We put the um the speed, the cylinder right here, and boom. What does that look like to you? It looks like. This and this put together, yeah, it is. But to me, I see a rib cage and a, and a neck can, um, coming from that. All right. Then what you want to do right now is you want to curve these down. All right. You see, we're getting we're getting number two, and we're stretching him into more of an oval shape. All right. By the way, ovals and spheres are in the same category. Why? Because they all can be stretched. All right. Oh, what I forgot to tell you is that these solid spheres and um, shapes you see can be moved and bent all right so we're gonna stretch him up and he's gonna turn it into an egg shape we can you we, you can go all the way down i you can stop here if you want to or you can just continue it until it looks like an egg boom a little bit can poke out from the bottom of the square that's okay now reason why this is good is because if you were to turn this body around these little points of the box right here would be the shoulder blades all right see if you were to turn the box around right i'm gonna do some basic shoulder blades right we're not gonna do all right we're gonna just start basic all right so this is the same box this is a little, this is a little bit bigger my bad all right so oops i went out all right we got the neck all right remember this is the back all right this is the back the back of the, the back of the body all right this is the back all right we got the little um the um the egg all right, there's gonna be a line for the back, the spine line. All right, if you were to take this tip and come in like that, and then take the end of these necks and go in like that, then this will turn into a shoulder blade. And also, if you just do that, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it would look a little bit something like this. And then, yada yada, blah blah blah, basic anatomy, boom. All right, great, my family's home. All right. Um, then we had the, the, the back of the neck, the, uh, the little, what are these called? The, the triceps, right? No, what the, I don't, I don't even know the name of the anatomy. I'm teaching anatomy. All right. That's just a quick little back. All right. Then we have the front rib cage, which is what you want to do is you just want to curve it outward like that. That's perfectly fine to do. All right. Cool. 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 Next. We're gonna do the shoulders, which are just gonna be circles. All right, don't make them too big. Just you know, just uh, shoulder size. Make them shoulder size. All right, and then we're gonna add the stomach area, which is gonna be a sphere again. All right, you can do a full circle, you can do a half circle, you can do whatever you want, but make sure that some of the circles inside of this box. All right, I'm gonna use black this time so that, so you can see the color change. Cause I'm you know, what's the point of having two colors? I'm not gonna use both of them. Um, yeah, using my little invention, by the way. <laughs> um, gonna do the pelvis, which is gonna be another box. Remember, pers pers uh, perspective is gonna be in the in the hips, all right? Which is gonna be a line ag across. Going in, you could just touch them down, okay? Kind of like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, just, just kind of do that and case it. And then you wanna draw them down, like that. All right? Connect them at the bottom. This is really rough, but connect them at the bottom, and you're good. You were good. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make these shoulder blades black because uh, we need more color. All right. So you got the basic foundation. This is the torso, the upper body. All right. If you look at it closely, it looks like a guy with with a really big nose, and he's got uh, um. I mean, can you see it? Kind of mini. I uh, I don't know what it looks like to you, but yeah. Um. Then we can do the shoulder. Uh. The the shoulder muscles, which come like that. A nice swoop, right? Collarbones. We're gonna use lines. Of course, the collarbones are not flat like lines. They're actually 3D, so we're gonna actually do that. Like that. All right. Collarbones come like that. They connect to these muscles in the background, and boom. All right. And then we're gonna add the side muscles, which are gonna. I, I like to. I like to do a curve like this because it makes it. I don't know. Looks look, makes it look human, you know. So we do this. Just two. Just two curves. Remember, lots of curves in the body. All right, connect them with some lines just so we can give some some form. Give it some form. Give it some form. Nah, 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 nah. All right, and boom, that's the basic um, upper torso. All right, and what you also want to do is 
where, where these boxes are, you can either come down as a, in, in, in a V because, of course, we have a, 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 a pelvis, which is not shaped like a box. So you can come down like a V, but if you're doing a male, you want to come in a little bit and then just drop down like this, all right? And you can just swoop that, I don't know. Because men, they have like this this little, it's more like a it's more like a like a cup and girls have more like a wine glass and we got more like a um like a um like whatever like, like a bell like an upside down bell i don't know what what that shape is whatever you think it is but we're doing a male torso right now so we're gonna do the male pelvis right so boom i just do a full circle just because i don't know why don't ask look it's all just my stylized anatomy good boom all right now the pectoral muscles what you can do is go to the balls the um the spheres i hate saying balls the spheres and then go under them come down like this in a swooping motion right and then go straight all right we're making a little a little a little s curve right here all right there's a small s curve don't connect it I mean, unless you want to you can darken that line these are the pec muscles all right and then from the same area you can take this line and go to that end of the collarbone as a straight line all right and it makes the cut it makes the um the connection right there all right there's also a little indentation by the collarbones that you probably don't notice but there's an indentation like right by the collarbones and the pecs and that makes that shape naturally and that's why i love this technique i'm like ugh, it's perfect I, i'm just it's doing all the work for me all right basic torso boom yada yada all right then the arms all right the arms don't really matter right now because we're doing the torso right now pr pretty much but what I like to do for the um, for the arms is do an octopus tentacle because it gives the arms more gesture and it gives the arms more flow. All right, this is a, a technique I learned from Sakura. Sa Sakura, no, not Sakura. Sakura, not Sakura, the character. I'm talking about Sakura. He's a YouTuber. Um, he uses these noodle te to the techniques, and I like it. So I'm like, yo, this actually does give it more form and structure. So I, I took that idea and added it into my basic anatomy. All right, so we got that. Boom. Okay, the arms flow down, all right? Arms are that point right now, but, and since we're not doing heads, we just top it off with the sphere, all right? Top it off with, the, with number two on top. We don't gotta worry about it right now because it's not a head tutorial. This is the body torso tutorial, all right? Bruh, I don't, <clears throat> hold on. Freaking. <sighs> They talk so goddamn loud, like, I'm doing a video! All right. Um, right, and then we have the abdominal, the ab, the abdomen muscles, which is what you can do is take where the arch of the ribcage is, go, drop straight down, boom, yada yada, boom, make a little box, make this line, the center line, gum down, all right? You can add the, ooh, sorry, you can add the belly button right in the middle of that. I'm gonna do a little circle, you know, you can do whatever shape you want and then we already have the abdom the abdominal block and then we can curve this at the bottom at the bottom of the of these two lines is another curve and then you see the arch of this rib cage and the arch of this curve makes like an oval shape so it just it's like it's doing everything for you then you can break this up um into uh, into into how many abs you want for the guy to have right we're gonna give him a, a six pack all right he's got one two three four five six i guess you know what i'm saying i uh, it's probably not correct but boom all right that's it all right so this is the basic rib um uh, torso pose the basic torso the basic um um what should we call it the basic uh upper body all right you can add some i don't know i just add some elbows in there because he looks elbowless he needs some elbows um that's some contour. I love contour. Like contour lines are so nice to have when you're practicing because it just it shows you the form. Just add these lines and it just it just helps, man. It just helps. It helps me, you know. I don't know if it helps you, but it helps me, man. It helps me a lot. It helps me a lot. So that is the basic male torso. Let's move on to the nice, sexy stuff. The female torso. Um, actually, do I? I want you guys to see this. You know, you guys know that. Memorize these shapes. 3D. Boom, one, two, three, memorize them. Boom, all right, so, moving on to female, um, female, we're gonna just put, um, um, male right there. That's some terrible handwriting. Look at my handwriting. All right, that's an that's a E, that's an A. Okay, male, we're gonna move on to the female. All right, female. Basically, everything I showed you in the male, except 
a little bit of difference. Not that much, just a little bit, all right? So, we're gonna do the same freaking thing. We're gonna start out with the box, all right? But the thing is, you can either start out with a regular size box or a thinner box. You can go thinner, it doesn't matter. You see, you have more of a, you have more variation with the women, all right? But the guys, you have variation, you know, if you're making them fat, if you're making them thin, you know, blah, blah, blah. But basically, everything's the same. We're, well, guys are straight up and down, like chocolate bars, okay? Girls are peanuts, okay? They got, they got, they got, they got waves. So you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be more uh, creative when you're doing the girls. So, we're gonna do our box right here, all right? Same thing, rib cage, arch it, all right? I did it backwards, but you know, you do the circle, the sphere, I'm doing it a little bit fast because I'm running out of time. I don't want these videos to be super long because they don't upload, all right? Little sphere, little neck, okay? Little, um, I don't gotta do it. You guys know what I'm doing. You guys know what I'm doing. Little, I'm do it quickly. Um, we're gonna do the arch, okay? Same as the guys, doesn't matter. Most people say you can just curve in like a V, it doesn't matter, okay? The girls got the same thing, right? Everything's the same as the guys. It's just, guys, alright? Got the, um, the stomach area, the ball, alright? Boom. Do it in black. Then I'm trying to rotate it, alright? Only thing is, when you're doing the girls, for the average girl, not girls that all come in all shapes and sizes, of course, but for the average, the average, um, I don't know, female figure, um, they have this curving shape. So, you know, ladies, you guys are beautiful. Alright. Um, we got the same, same thing. They're not gonna be as defined as, um, the guys. They're gonna be a little bit lower. All right, a little bit softer. All right, everything's soft. All right, when you see, when they give guy, think of hard, and then when you think of girls, think of you see that that transition wasn't good, but you know what I'm saying. When you think of guys, think of think of a think of I was gonna say think, think of a rock, but then it, it still sounds. Uh, think uh, all right, think of the think of girls as soft. Girls are soft like cotton, and guys are guys. Guys are guys. All right, we got the shoulders. Um, it doesn't matter, all right? I was gonna do them red, but we got the shoulders, all right? And we got the same muscles, all right? The, the girls have pectoral muscles too, all right? Surprise, surprise, I know, shocker. Um, uh, they're just really small and thin, so you can't really see them, but they have the same muscles as us, all right? And then, here's where we get to the, the difference between the guys and the girls. My thing, where's the light at in here? That does nothing. Oh. The lighting's terrible. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We're, we're slowly but surely moving our way up. But here's the difference between the guys and the girls. All right. You see, everything's the same as the guy. All right. We didn't add these. All right. Don't. You don't. I mean, unless you want to. But most of the time, I don't add them. Just leave the circle there. Then, what you want to do? Take the box. But instead of making the same length as the rib cage, we're gonna go out a little bit. You know, girls got hips. All right. Every girl, skinny, small. They think they, they think they're skinny. They think they're small. Your hips are always gonna be wider than, than than your shoulders or the same length as their shoulders. All right. We're gonna go a little bit out more. All right. So basically, we're doing the same thing we did with the guys, except we're going out just a little tad bit more. All right. You can go as wide as you want, though. All right. The I think the limit should be at least like right here. That's the limit. If you go past that, she's just looking. You look. It's like it's looking unproportionate. So don't go past. Okay, I say shoulders or a little bit past the shoulders, but don't go past the shoulders or like super farther than that because then she's going to look, unless you're stylizing it, but then she's going to look really unfortunate. All right. This lighting is horrid. Ugh. All right. We got the uh, hips. Boom. We got the, the box. The box is a little bit larger. Boom. All right. And then we just connect it the same way everything's the same it's just we made the box bigger all we did was make the box bigger that's it that's the only change is the, the only difference that's the only difference all right all right we can use some shading too just to make it look professional all right um right we got that now what you want to do same is, is is add the v shape all right remember the guys have the little have, have the little um what is this called the little the little um the, the big bend, the bell, the bell had the bell, and we got the, and they got the wine glass. If you just put a stick right here, and it will be a wine glass. All right. Matter of fact, when you put the legs together, it does look like a wine glass. But we'll get that in a minute. In a minute. Any minute. This video is so long. Twenty four minutes. All right. Um. Now we're going to add the arms. By the way, the head on the girl is is not it's not bigger, but it's just that their bodies look so small that their head looks big. So. Yeah, girls can't really help it. Sometimes they just have really big heads. Um, unless they're just one of those buff brolic girls. Like I've seen that. Like it, it, it's it's real. All right, it's real. Okay, there's girls out there that can kick that can kick a guy's ass. Um, I should stop cursing. All right, got the tentacle arms. Just just for now, you know what I'm saying? These don't these don't these aren't permanent. All right, we're gonna do arm tutorial later. But for now, we're keeping it as simple as possible. 
All right. Um, Jesus Christ. I, I, I need to try to fix this lighting. This is, this is nasty. This is disgusting. Come on, open up. Get, get some light. Let, let there be light. Oh, wee, wee, wee. All right. I'm back. I hope that's better. If it's not, it's just, it's just the camera. All right. So we got that. And then we have the uh, the legs. We don't got, actually we didn't even do legs on guys, but the, you know what we're doing. This is the upper body uh, upper body tutorial. We're not doing the legs right now. So forget the legs. Legs don't matter right now. This is not a leg tutorial. Um, then we have the center line, of course. All right, belly button. I use I use a diamond for the girls' belly buttons. I, that's actually a very wide belly button. Like godly. Um, let me close that up a little bit. It still looks. Ugh. I messed it up. But look. That's basically it, all right? Guy, girl, male, female, together, together at last. All right, we got that. Oh, wrong side. See, that's the thing with this with this little contraption. If you use the wrong side, you're rushing like me, then you might use the wrong color. You gotta be careful. All right, so we got that, boom. What you can do is you can go to the middle of the circle. Like if you cut the circle in half, go right here to the middle and then come down it will give it the love handles all right just so it doesn't look so like because of course girls don't got like a big chunk missing out their hip you know it has some curve so yeah, of course add that little love handle by the way love handles are definitely lovely um what else oh the abdominal muscles they have except there's there's actually curves in a little bit see ours they go straight down but there's goes like this in, in a in a in an accordion so, so it's, it's the same shape it's, just, it's like it's like we got our fingers and just squeeze it a little bit like just pushed it in you know so they got the same ab muscles this is theirs curves more and ours are just more straight up and down yada yada boom all right and of course the one feature that a guy can never have unless they're overweight is this breast breast and also i used the coil technique to make them um, I don't. I just. I just found it very, 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 very quick and very, like, accurate. But um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Num level one basic anatomy, right? We're not gonna do the nipples because YouTube monetization, you know, limits that. So she has a bra. On. She has a workout bra. Okay, she's not nude. All right. So that's it for this video. Um. Everything is this like everything amounts to this. We did all of this with a few lines. By the way, maybe I should add line in there. Like number the number 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 four shape is the legendary line. All right. So now we can have number four since I fucking messed it up last time. All right. So with a with with four shapes, um, we got the box, the ball, the cylinder. So, all of that makes these human bodies, like, it's really down to the basic shapes. People think I'm playing, man, like, all the anatomy I do, all those crazy, like, I mean, I'm still learning myself, alright? I'm still, I like to say I'm an intermediate, um, because there's so much I don't know, so much I need to do to, to get to the level I want to be at. But, for what I know and what my, and the journey I'm on to get as good as I can, I can show you a little bit of tricks. So that is my little lesson on um, basic anatomy, right? We got the male, female, um, and I write really fast and really ugly, but male and female poses, uh, basic shapes, um, and all you gotta do is put them together in a way that just makes sense. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Like, that's it. Like, we're, we're, we're I know you guys want to do like poses soon or later, and these are not. These are obviously boring. Like, who wants to look at this? Like, oh, he's just standing there looking all uh. But look, don't worry. When we, when as soon as you guys get good at this, as the, at these shapes and point them together to make things and learn perspective and learn how to draw this box in all angles, look that up. I'm telling you. Then we can move on to level two. Which is the posing, action poses, all types of poses, fighting poses, whatever you want. And then, that's when you pretty much become, I mean, intermediate. Like, if you really want to get good at drawing humans, 
it amounts to this. All right, learn these, and then it, if you can make if you can make this with just these shapes, imagine them all, like using different shapes. You know what I'm saying? Using all types of shapes, even custom shapes. Like, I have custom shapes I use. All right, to make the rib cage and stuff to make it easier on myself. Custom shapes. But right now, for the basic stuff, we're just going to do boxes and cylinders and cylinders and lines. So, like I said, man, you know, like, comment, subscribe, man, you know what I'm saying? Join the, join the army! And then, um, hit me up, any other videos you guys want to see, and, uh, see you guys later. This video has been 31 minutes long, and if you watch to the end, then you guys are the true ones. The OGs. Phenomenal. You're phenomenal. I see you. I'll see you guys later. Um, peace out, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Deuces. I need to get a better damn camera. God damn.